Guys, let's learn about a determinant of a three by three matrix. So for instance, uh, you can be given, given, uh, given uh, six, five, three. This is your matrix now. Maybe we can call this matrix M. Given matrix says uh, M is that, then you are told uh, you have eight, four, you have five, then you have seven, six, uh, three. If this is your matrix, you are told find the determinant, find the determinant, find the determinant. This is the solution, this is the solution, this is the solution. I'll pick our matrix here. So we have a six, we have five, we have three, we have eight, we have four, we have five, we have seven, we have six, and we have three. This is our original matrix. What you do, uh, you get the identity sign matrix, which is a, a plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, uh, plus, minus, then a plus. This is our identity um, sign matrix. And we need to use any of these rows to calculate, we can use any of these rows. Eh? Either row one, this is the row one, this is the row two, row three. We can use any of the rows to calculate the determinant. I'll decide to use this row one. This row one, so I'll use this row one to calculate uh, my determinant. So my determinant will be given as follows. Determinant will be given as follows. I adopt this six. I put a bracket there to have a two by two matrix. The next one is five, and this five goes with a minus sign a six is a positive sign, five is a minus sign, so we have a five here. I put this to get a determinant of a two by two matrix. This is a positive sign for three, so for three this is positive three. And still for three, we need to look for another uh, two by two matrix of minus. So to get the, ma the matrix here, that uh, the matrix that lines itself with six, this is what we do, we have uh, six, five, three, eight, four, five, seven, six, three. So what I want, what I'm interested in is the submatrix that uh, comes from six. So what I'll do is that I'll cancel the column with six and cancel the row with six. I remain with four, five, six, and three. So I remain with uh, four, five, six, and three. Now, still again for the same, for the five, I do the same. I have a six, five, three, eight, four, five, seven, six, and three. I'm interested on, with this five. So I cancel this column and I cancel this row. I remain with eight, five. I've remained with eight, five, then we have seven and three. We have seven and we have three. I want now to get my third my minor from the three. So uh, we still have six, five, three, eight, four, five, uh, seven, six, three. I'm interested with these three. So I'll cancel the column with a three and cancel the row with a three. So from here, if you cancel, if you cancel the row with three and cancel the column with three, you remain with eight, four, seven, and six. So you remain with eight, four, seven, and six. So this uh, is now what you use to get the determinant. For this submatrix, you need to get you need to get, for this submatrix, you need to get the determinant of it. So I will have six, and I know to get the determinant of this matrix, I get four multiplied by three. 
4 multiplied by 3 minus 5 multiplied by 6. Then you minus 5. I have here again 8 multiplied by 3. 8 multiplied by 3 minus 5 multiplied by 7. I come again and I plus 3. Then I say this 3. We have 8 multiplied by 6. 8 multiplied by 6 minus 4 multiplied by 7. 4 multiplied by 7. This means that here we have 6. This is 12 minus 30. Here we have minus 5. Uh, this is 24 minus 35. Here we have plus 3. Uh, 8 times Eight times six, this is uh, forty-eight minus four times seven, which is twenty-eight. So you simplify this further. Here we have uh, six. Twelve minus thirty, you get minus eighteen. Here we have minus five. Uh, Twenty-four minus thirty-five, you get minus eleven. Plus, uh, we have uh, three. 48 minus 28, you get 20. We need to simplify this further. 6 times 18, we have 108. And these are negative. Then we have a minus and a minus. This becomes a positive 55. Then we have plus 60. If you simplify this further, you realize that uh, this, is, uh, this becomes 115 minus 1 or 8. And the answer for this is 7. So the determinant is equals to 7. If you're also given a, a matrix like this, you are told find the determinant. Find the determinant. This is how you find the determinant. Uh, you write the matrix again. Let me rewrite this matrix. We have six, we have negative five, uh, we have one, we have negative six, we have eight, we have negative two, we have two, we have negative three, we have one. I will put my identity matrix, but for the signs, my identity matrix here for the signs is a, a positive, a minus, positive, minus, positive minus, a positive minus, and a positive. Like I said, you can pick any of these rows. Either you use uh, row 1 uh, or use row 2 or row 3 to find the determinant. So let's assume, uh, let's use row 1. That means I'll use this. So I'll start to say that uh, here the determinant will be given by, I have, I have these six. I look for the matrix of the minus for the 6. Then I have minus 5, minus and minus 5. That becomes positive 5, positive 5. Then I look for the uh, submatrix that is resulting from uh, that. I have positive and a positive here. I remain with positive 1. And I look for the submatrix again here. So to get the submatrix, this is what you do. Our matrix is 6. Negative 5, 1, negative 6, 8, negative 2, 2, negative 3, and 1. I'm, I'm interested with this 6. To get the submatrix from 6, you cancel this row with 6. You cancel this column with 6, and you cancel this row with 6. So I remain with 8, negative 2. So I have 8, negative 2, and I have negative 3, 1. Uh, to get now, the submatrix resulting from 5, I have 6, uh, negative 5, 1, negative 6, 8, negative 2, 2, negative 3, and 1. I'm interested with these 5. I cancel this column and I cancel this row. I remain with negative 6, negative 2, 2, and 1. To get uh, the submatrix that is aligned to 1, uh, I still write this 6, 
negative 5, 1, negative 6, 8, negative 2, 2, negative 3, and 1. So I want to get the submatrix that is aligned to 1. So I cancel this uh, column and I cancel this row. I remain with negative 6, we have 8, we have 2, and negative 3. So this, uh, we have gotten our submatrix that should help us to get the determinant. We have gotten our submatrix that should help us to get the determinants. So this is how to move from there. Uh, we have to get the determinant of the submatrix. So we have 6, then I multiply by the determinant, here is 8, multiply by 1, minus negative 2, multiply by negative 3, negative 2, multiply by negative 3, and I close that, then I have plus 5, mm, I get the determinant of this, negative 6, multiply by 1, minus negative 2, multiply by 2. Then I have plus 1, I still get the determinant of this submatrix, which is negative 6, multiply by negative 3, minus 8, multiply by 2. So I can simplify this further. Here I have 6, here I have 8, minus 2, multiply by minus 2. That becomes positive 6, minus 6. Then uh, I have plus 5. Here we have minus 6 multiply by 1, we have minus 6. Then we have negative 2, multiply by 2, we get negative 4. Then we have minus and minus 4, and this becomes a positive. So we, we have 1, then here we have a negative 6, multiply by negative 3, this becomes a positive 18. Then you have minus 2, multiply by 8, uh, negative 8, this becomes uh, minus 16. So when you simplify further here, we have 6, uh, we have 2, we have plus 5, uh, then here we have a minus 6, plus 4, this becomes minus 2, then we have plus, plus uh, 1, already we have 1, 18 minus 6, this becomes 2. You can still simplify this further, we have uh, 6 multiplied by 2, this is 12, plus 5 multiplied by this, this becomes negative 10. This becomes negative 10. Then we have a plus 2. So we have a 12 minus 10 plus 2. To simplify this further, we have a 12 plus 10. Uh, 12 minus 10 is 2 plus 2. That means we will have 4. So our determinant, our determinant will be equals to 4. Alternatively, Uh, I can use the second row, this second row here. So that means my determinant will be given by negative 6. I look for the submatrix, then I have uh, 8. But something to remember is that, uh, okay, okay, so let, let me have this. Alternatively, we can use the second row, which is a negative 6. The sign here is negative. So a negative and a negative, that becomes a positive. So we have 6. From this, negative 6 multiplied by a negative here, we have a positive. Then I look for the submatrix. My second digit here is 8. 8 goes with a plus, so we shall have plus 8. And I look for the submatrix. Then we have negative 2, which has a negative here. Still goes with a negative, or then same negative here. Negative 2 multiplied by a negative, we have plus 2 and you look for the submatrix. To look for the submatrix, you write the original matrix, 6, negative 5, 1, negative 6, 8, negative 2, 2, negative 3, 1. So I'm interested with this 6, so I cancel this row, and I cancel this column. I remain with negative 5, then I have 1, I have negative 3, then I have 1. To look for the 8, I have 6, negative 5, 1, negative 6, 8, negative 2, 2, negative 3, and 1. I'm interested with this 8, so I cancel this column, and I cancel this row. I remain with 6, 1, 2, and 1. So I have 6, 1, 2, and I also have 1. Together that submatrix, I'm interested with these 2. 
So uh, I have 6, negative 5, 1, negative 6, 8, negative 2, uh, 2, negative 3, and 1. I'm interested with these two, so I cancel this, and I cancel this row. I remain with 6, neg negative 5, 6, negative 5, and then I have 2, negative 3. So I've already gotten my sub-matrix. What I need is to simplify this further. So to simplify this further, you look for the determinant of the 2 by 2 sub-matrix. So here I have a negative 5 multiplied by 1. I get negative 5. Minus 1 multiplied by negative 3, I get negative 3. This becomes a plus. That becomes a plus. Plus, we have 8. 6 multiplied by 1, that becomes 6. Minus 1 multiplied by 2, this becomes 2. Then, we have 2. We have uh, 6 multiplied by negative 3. Uh, this becomes negative 18. Then uh, minus negative 5 multiplied by 2, we have negative 10. Then we say equals, we simplify further. Here we have 6, negative 5, uh, plus 3. This we have negative 2. Then we have plus 8. Here we have 6 minus 2, we have 4. Then we have plus 2. And uh, we have uh, negative 18. Here we have a minus and a minus that becomes a positive. So negative 18 plus 10, this becomes negative 8. To simplify this further, uh, we have uh, negative 12, 6 multiplied by negative 2. Then we have plus, this is 8 multiplied by 4, which is 32. Then we have plus. 2 multiplied by negative 6, which is negative 16. So this means we can bring the negative signs together. We have 32 minus 12, then you minus 16. Here, 32 minus 12, already that you get 20 minus 16, that means you get 4. And 4 is our determinant, which is actually the determinant that we got using the first row, and now we have gotten the determinant using the second row. That is a proof that even when you work out using the third row, you still get the same determinant. Even when you work out using the third row, you still arrive to the same determinant of four. Thank you.